Welcome, Catherine Parkinson. Now, not only do you have an awe-inspiring track record in the theatre, but you've lit up our screens, both large and small, uh, in Doc Martin, Humans, uh, Radioactive, The Boat That Rocked, Defending the Guilty, The Kennedys, and of course, your multi-award-winning performance as Jen Barber in the IT crowd. How's your lockdown looking? <laughs> well, um, I think like everyone, I'm sort of having, you know, like, like those moments where you go, look, look, just make the most of this. There's a lot to be said for kind of, you know, just sort of slowing down and having time to just sit and stare. But then I have other moments where I feel quite um, frustrated and overwhelmed. I'm homeschooling my children um, for a start, which has its ups and downs because they're quite young and, uh, um, but, 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 you know, mostly positive. I'm doing an awful lot of baking, but haven't attempted sourdough like everyone else. I've kept it simple with just biscuits. And I've also bizarrely done a lot of um, oil pastel cubism drawings, sort of, of kind of sub GCSE level standard, if that actually. <laughs> but I've enjoyed it, which is the point. So yeah, I've been doing, been very busy. Yeah, it, it sounds like it. And I can recommend... I can recommend soda bread. That's actually really easy ah. as well, if you want to try that. I shall just write that down. <laughs> yes, I, I need something new, because uh, oh, apart from anything else, I'm going to be the size of a house by the time we <laughs> get back to normal, because I seem to be eating most of the biscuits. Um, now tell me, Catherine, this is Pearls of Wisdom. Do you have uh, a nugget of advice um, that you've been given at some point that's really helped you in your life? Well, I thought about this and obviously there's lots of bits of advice you get along the way, but I, I, the one that I've thought about a lot uh, since she said it to me is um, my, my agent, Lindy King, um, who you probably know. Do you know Lindy? Yeah. Um, uh, she, she once said something about how you're responsible for the energy you bring into a room. And I think that's quite a, a good, good thing to, to sort of remind you of, because I think sometimes I'm, particularly in London, when you're very busy, you know, the, the sort of busy kind of commuter kind of uh, life where you're, you, you can end up turning up at a, a new workplace and with new people quite often in, in our business, right, who you haven't met before. And, and I think sometimes um, you can accidentally have a slightly passive aggressive energy. I'm talking about myself here. Um, not necessarily always as open um, as you could be. And, um, I think it's just something that's kind of catching a sort of almost a or oh, I'm busier than you kind of London sort of attitude um, and I have just noticed it occasionally being guilty of it and thinking why did you do that why did you come into the room with a slightly wary energy when you could have just been open and warm because I think it, even if most people don't notice because I think even my wary energy is probably a lot warmer than, than the average energy, <laughs> probably, because I'm not exactly um, a very, you know, um, kind of aggressive person. But I think it, it just helps you because the only person it bothers is you if you come in into a room with a slightly um, bad energy. So that's that's my pearl of wisdom. I think that's absolutely fascinating. How kind of insightful of, of Lindy as well to, to pass that on because it, it, you, it's true. I mean, do you find as well that if you've, um, maybe even in a social situation, if you have come in a bit under or a bit not like you want to be, do you, do you kind of check yourself and reframe? A little bit now because I think there's a sort of, there's a, that quality of being gracious that I think, um, is, I noticed it when we, we, me and my family went to Georgia because um, I, I did a film there. And I just noticed um, uh, that there, there was a general kind of um, openness and warmth to the people that, that reminded me of, of, you know, when I'm maybe sort of in the countryside or whatever. Because I think what happens in London is that we all get so kind of um, defensive and, and sort of on our guard a little bit just because of the sheer number of people that we're coming into contact pe with or whatever it is but it's superficial whatever it is and I think it's just good to sometimes remind yourself that you don't have to um, have that bad slightly sort of compromised energy you can yeah. just be open and, and, and unassuming 
and and um yeah not yeah. have bad energy <laughs> I don't so oogly, oogly, doesn't it <laughs> I can't yeah. imagine you've ever got a bad energy, but the, the, I think Ooh. that's really lovely. <laughs> I think mostly my husband sees my bad energy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Keep your bad energy for your husband. That's yeah. what I try to do. <laughs> uh, and listen, very quickly, what have you got coming up after this when, we, when you can work again properly? Well, I don't, I mean, you know, I've... I'm doing defending the guilty again, but it has obviously shifted. It was supposed to be very imminent, and um, they 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 have had to shift it to next year. So um, I, I'm not really sure what I'm doing next. I've just I have just filmed though a Zoom play um, uh, for Headlong for the BBC. So oh. it it was a very interesting experience because I I am technologically as as you know as basic as it comes and uh, and and managed you know managed it and it was rather a lot of fun. So. I think that things, you know, it's, we're a creative industry and I think we'll all get creative and things will yep. start up again. But basically, I don't know, but um, <laughs> I do a bit of writing and, and lots of eating and a bit of homeschooling at the moment. That's quite enough at the moment. But, and yeah. more painting, more sub GCSE painting. I love that. <laughs> Rubber paintings, <laughs> which I'll try oh. and sell. <laughs> oh. so thank, thank you so much for joining me Catherine that was really really lovely and, uh, and, oh. and excellent. very different pearl of wisdom thank you thank you what a pleasure um, my mum and dad will be very pleased to, to read <laughs> get, they like Saga magazine and oh, good. I like yeah 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 excellent. oh I think it was Lindy that said it to me I'm not sure but she, she won't mind <laughs> thank I think you. it's a great credit okay oh. take care darling thank you Bye.